Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Cheatball Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Rodent Warriors. This game was published by John Dusoft and it was developed by Rodent Warriors team. Now, ultimately, this is a really easy completion or platinum trophy. However, it's a pretty lengthy one. It's going to take about six hours or so. I'll be breaking that down in a minute. On top of that, it's only $5.99. Rodent Warriors is an epic 2D roguelike RPG about rodents. Personally, I didn't spend too much time actually playing the game, and I'll explain why in a minute, but I did have a lot of friends say that they really enjoyed playing this game. Now, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Clarion85. He's one of my Xbox friends, and he's the first person that I seen discover the autoplay feature in this game, which is going to make getting the 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy so much easier. I'm going to leave a link for his YouTube channel below so you guys can check it out. Now, let's go ahead and do a quick achievement breakdown. Now, assuming you're going to use the autoplay feature that I mentioned, it's going to take about 1 hour to get 600 plus gamer score. It's going to take about 2 hours to get 900 gamer score. It's going to take about 3 hours to get 970 gamer score. And for that last achievement, which is worth 30 gamer score, it's going to take up to 6 hours. It's going to be a little bit faster if you have a turbo controller. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, first thing you're going to need to do is select which slot you want to save your game in. So just press play. Now, at the beginning of every game, you're going to run into this dog that asks you a bunch of questions. I never actually answered any of these questions. I just press B to skip this whole part every time I started a new game. Because as I mentioned earlier in this video, this is a roguelike game. So every time that you die, you're going to have to start the game over again. However, we do have some elements like leveling up and such that do carry over amongst playthroughs. So as you play the game and you play more playthroughs, your characters are going to have better chances of success. Now, as you can see, we only have one mission available. And on the lower right hand corner, it says the probability of success. You want to pay attention every time you start a mission so you have an idea of the likelihood of you completing that mission. Now as you play the game you're going to end up unlocking more characters. We do have achievements or trophies linked to these characters. Basically you need to level up to level 10 in a run with each character. The achievement or trophy will not pop until you start your next run. As far as I know you have two different ways that you level up. You have your regular level up which is temporary for that playthrough and then you have your legacy level. Now, as you can see, this game can be a little bit intimidating in terms of learning how to play it because I found that there's just a lot going on on the screen and it gets even more intense when you go into the pause menu. So basically what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to set up the game for it to play itself. We're not going to even have to play it at all. The AI in the game is basically going to play the game in the best way possible. It's going to end up unlocking all of the achievements or trophies for you. Now, as you can see, once you level up, you have to choose, you know, which one you're going to level up, etc. Now, luckily, you won't even need to worry about this as the computer or the AI is automatically going to level up, craft, collect everything that you need to collect, all that good stuff. Now, to turn on the autoplay, what we need to do is get into the pause menu. To do this, you need to click in the left thumbstick. After you click in the left thumbstick, you're going to see this menu. You want to press left trigger until you get to this screen right here with the trophies and the diary. In the diary, you want to press Y. It's going to send you to this screen right here. And what we want to do is just activate all of these. And basically, the game is, as I mentioned before, basically going to play itself. After that, I went ahead and toggled the strategy mode. So just make sure that you toggle that as well. And then you can press B to exit out of that menu. And at this point, you can pretty much let go of your controller and the game is going to play itself. Now, there's only a couple things. Basically, as you play the game, sometimes the dog is going to pop up with some dialogue and you're going to need to press A to get through that dialogue. So you may need to pay attention to it a little bit, at least if you don't have a turbo controller. If you have a turbo controller, you can set it up to turbo the A button or if you're on PlayStation to turbo the X button and that's automatically going to turbo through all of those dialogues, meaning you don't necessarily need to babysit the game as much. However, I found that every time you unlock an achievement, this notification pops up and for some reason the turbo controller wouldn't turbo through that. Now if you keep the turbo controller running, 
after you die, it's automatically going to keep pressing A, and it's going to start a new game for you. And every time you start a new game, you're going to progress a little bit, level up a little bit, and you're going to have greater and greater chances of being able to complete the level. So yeah, that's basically it for the most part. You're going to activate all of the autoplay features, and you're going to let the game run. Eventually, you're going to end up unlocking all of the achievements or trophies. The only tricky one is the last achievement for overcoming 10 challenges. I'll be explaining that in a minute. First, I want to go over the turbo controller thing. So, as I mentioned before, if you have a turbo controller, you can turbo the A button, and it's going to turbo through everything, except for these little notifications that pop up. Every time you unlock an achievement, it pops up with the notification. It's basically the notification for the in-game achievement, because I believe before this port, it was a mobile game. So, that was kind of like the mobile achievements that you unlocked. Anyhow, when these notifications pop up, even while turboing the A button, I found that it wouldn't turbo through this notification. So unfortunately, I did have to babysit it just a little bit because every time I got to one of these notifications in the game, I had to manually press A on my controller because turboing the A button did not work. So maybe you can, you know, get some stuff done around the house, watch a movie, watch some Netflix, do whatever while the game is playing itself and just keep an eye out for those notifications. And if one of the notifications pop up and the game gets stuck, you may need to go back and press A on your controller for the game to proceed and keep playing itself. For instance, in this clip, I have the game playing itself using the features that I showed you for autoplay. I ended up unlocking an achievement, and even though I have my turbo controller plugged in and I'm turboing the A button, it gets stuck at this notification. So I had to go back and press A on the controller manually. And then this screen right here, the mission cleared screen, you can turbo through that screen. So it will automatically loop and keep playing itself if you happen to complete a level. So yeah, overall I'd consider this an easy completion just because basically the game plays itself. You don't really need to play it too much. You just need to keep an eye out just in case you get one of these notifications and you need to be able to press A to be able to proceed and have the AI keep playing itself. And besides that, that's pretty much what this completion or platinum trophy entails is pretty much just babysitting it um, while you have the game in autoplay mode. So yeah, unfortunately, the turbo controller will not help you with these notifications right here. However, I still recommend using a turbo controller if you have one, because it will turbo through the dialogues that pop up sometimes, and it will turbo through the end of the mission. So if you die or you clear a mission, it will automatically go into the next one and keep playing. The cool thing about this is the computer literally plays the game in the best way possible. So you're going to unlock a lot of these achievements or trophies naturally for like crafting stuff, collecting potions, getting kills, all that type of stuff. The only ones you actually need to put any effort into are the ones for getting a 10 legacy level for each character. For this, all you need to do is just make sure that you play with each character. As I mentioned before, you're going to end up unlocking all of these characters naturally. You don't need to do anything specific, just keep letting the game play itself and eventually you'll have all of the characters unlocked. So eventually you just need to make sure that you play with each of these characters and that they get far enough to get a level 10 legacy level, or level 10 legacy bonus, sorry. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Now, I selected the porcupine on the last run and the AI or the computer had a pretty good run. They made it fairly far. So, once I started up a game with my next character, I ended up unlocking the achievement for reaching porcupine legacy bonus 10. The reason I'm pointing these out is because these achievements related to the level 10 legacy bonus will pop after you start your next game. So if you feel like you made it pretty far with the character and you haven't got the achievement for that character yet, no worries, the achievement or trophy will not pop until you die and start a new run. Okay, next I want to talk about the hardest achievement in the game. This one is the one for 30 gamers score that is for overcoming 10 challenges. Now. Eventually, once you played the game a lot or let the game play itself a lot, you're going to unlock more levels. What you want to do is go to each of these levels and look at the compensation. Now, if they have a list of items, they don't have any challenges related to that level. What you're looking for is a sentence that starts with experimental procedure. These are basically challenges, so this one is to permanently eliminate a little clumsy. Now, if you went to all of the different levels that you've unlocked, and none of them show an experimental procedure uh, for compensation, you can go ahead and press start and reset the game and see if they end up popping again. You may need to restart it a couple times depending on how many levels you've unlocked. Obviously, if you've 
you know, had the game play itself for a while and you've unlocked more levels, you're going to have a greater chance of having a challenge available. The other thing you want to pay attention to is the probability of success because to be able to overcome a challenge, you need to complete that level. So if you don't have a high probability of success for completing that level, then you obviously don't have a high probability of completing that challenge. Now, as you can see here, it says compensation experimental procedure with the 93% chance of success. So what I would want to do is press A. This is going to start up the level. It's automatically going to play itself. And after the AI completes its own level, we're going to complete a challenge. Now you can actually press the left thumbstick in, go to the pause menu, you can press left trigger, and there's a trophies tab. These are the in-game achievement trackers that were made for tracking the achievements on the mobile version. So as you can see, I have seven out of 10 challenges completed. However, I just started a level that has a challenge and it has a 93% chance of success. So once I complete this level, I would have overcome that challenge. And once I start this next level, if I go into the trophy tracker, here I can see that now it reflects that I've overcome eight out of 10 challenges. So I only need two more. So just keep in mind that you can track your progress here in the trophy tab. Again, you can find that in the pause menu. You can pull up the pause menu by clicking in the left thumbstick. Now, if for some reason you aren't getting any challenges available, or for some reason, the probability of success on these levels that have challenges is slim, you may just need to let the game play itself more because the more that you let the game play itself, the more powerful your characters are going to be every time you play the game again. So at about six hours into letting the game play itself, I finally was able to complete my 10th challenge. Now, don't worry if the achievement or trophy doesn't pop right away as it doesn't pop until you start up another run. There we go, that is the positive thinker achievement or 30 gamer score for overcoming 10 challenges. I got my full 1000 gamer score in just about 6 hours. But of course that is all due to that autoplay feature. Again, shout out to Clarion85 for bringing it to my attention. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 20 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including TimG84, AOJ, Blackbird, and Kegger101. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.